And this is what happens when you put off filming for three months. Hey everyone, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've posted on here. Um, to be completely honest, I just was not in the mood to film anything um, these past, what, three months? Um, I did attempt to film a June haul and it, as I was editing it, it felt so rushed and I just didn't want to put it out because I wasn't, I knew that I wasn't going to be proud of it. Not saying that my content is any award winning or anything like that. Um, or what's the YouTube award? Um, uh, streamy? Yeah, I'm not, whatever you know what i mean um but i do want to get back into this because it's i started i started doing this because i thought it would be fun and i thought it would be a good way to i don't know keep myself busy um or not keep myself just a fun thing for me to do um so i'm going to be showing you guys all of the albums that i got in june july and august so this is going to be a long video um i also want to say i think i want to play around with the format of these videos i'm not going to be putting away any of the photo cards that i got um like i did in my previous two videos i haven't figured out um what i'm gonna do with that if i'm just gonna make separate videos i don't know i have to figure it out but I do want to, um, I know it's like the, some of these albums are, have been out for like two months and one month, um, but I still want to um, show you guys all the things that I got. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started because I rambled on for too long okay so we're gonna start with june comebacks the first one i got was twice's more and more this is their ninth mini um this is version a version b and then i'm gonna put version c here um i'm trying to film this with better quality and if i zoom out the quality will just go to crap so I'm just stacking them, hope you don't mind. Um, I thought this era was visually one of their best. I still can't get over Jiho and her pink hair. Um, and just like everybody, like this concept, I I love it. I adore it, it's impeccable. Um, in terms of more and more, the title track, perfect summer song, it's like twice has that or they've established their signature sound um and it's they with every title track it's you can say like oh that's a twice song um but it doesn't sound like the previous one um and i thought music video budget was great in terms of b-sides i would say my top three are firework oxygen and then make me go um and yeah overall i thought this was a really good era for twice i'm so excited for i think they're coming back in october i really want it to be a full album because twice the, twice the gram was released in 2017 i think so it's it's been a while um i think it's about time that they have um another one so yeah definitely happy to have these in my collection the next june comeback i have is from victon um and i am filming by the window so there's going to be this really annoying glare but anyway okay so this is their second single mayday this is the venez version and i'll put it up so you don't see the glare and um, you can see the image and then this is i'm gonna mispronounce this but i think it's mayday and that's what it looks like without the glare um i was surprised that they came back so quickly um continuous was released in march and then this was released in 
early June. Um, but I don't think anybody's really complaining um, about like the quick comeback time, um, especially with Victon because they've kind of had like a, a surge in popularity like a, this past year, I would say, um, which is very much deserved. Um, I really like Mayday. I think the chorus is really catchy. Um, and I think this is one of like visually one of their best music videos. Um, I do prefer this version a little bit more than this one. Um, I, vocals didn't disappoint. Um, and yeah, um, excited to add this to the Victim collection. In June, or uh, I think these past, what, within like this past summer, <laughs> there's been a couple of new groups or new artists that I have decided to start collecting. Um, and this next comeback that I'm going to talk about is one of them. Um, so I have decided to start collecting and flying and I started with their June comeback um, and I fail because I do not know the full name of this mini album. This is their seventh mini album. It's so, and then I do not know what the character is. Um, I want to say it's so communication. I'm pretty sure, but I could be very wrong. Anyway. Um, so we have the communication version, and then this is the miscommunication version. Um, I came across How Are You Today, um, and I loved it. Um, I, I, like, obviously I collect Day6, so I'm not opposed to, like, uh, K-bands or groups that don't really, you know, um focus on choreography um but i fell in love with wee sung's voice i absolutely love his voice um and i was i think earlier in june i came across hoon's and jaehan's youtube channel and i started watching some of their videos and i just i thought they were um really funny um and this so the title track for this is oh really it is so catchy so upbeat oh look there's a plane sorry i just got really distracted because i've never seen a kind of plane like that before okay <laughs> um love the the song just go listen to the song i would be very surprised if it doesn't just like make you happy um after listening to it and the music video too is just so like it, it matches the song in the sense that it's just like so fun um in terms of b-sides i'd say my top three are youth eo and then last song um but i am really excited to start collecting and flying um and yeah i really suck at transitions i don't know i feel like it's like writing an essay like you know when you're like transitioning between paragraphs and you have to come up with like the Lastly, secondly, yeah, I don't know how to transition into, like, or go into the next comeback. Okay, enough of that. This is another um, collection starter, um, but this is actually a solo artist. So I got Ha Sungwoon's um, third mini Twilight Zone. Let me put these more into frame or else it's really going to bother me. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, so I kinda sorta watched the second season of Produce. Um, that's where I I like knew of someone from that show. Um, but I wasn't like a diehard one on one fan. I just like very very casually listened to them. Um and um but also um he was in 101, but then he is also a member of Hotshot. Um, and I think either like the same, like, so in June, I came across 
Blue, which was the title track of his second mini, and I really liked it. I'm like, how did I not um, come to appreciate this until now? So, oddly enough, he then announced a comeback a couple, like a week or two later, I don't know. Um, but I, after listening to Blue, I started like um, listening to the stuff that he's previous, re previously released and I really liked it. So I'm like, you know what? I really like his vibe. I love his voice. Um, so I wanted to start collecting and I thought what better time than to start with this new comeback. Um, so the title for this was Get Ready, which I think I, I love it. Um, it's, if I had to choose a word to describe it, I would choose funky. Um, but it's just, you, you, you gotta listen to it and then I feel like you would know what I mean. Um, and I thought the music video was, um, pretty good. The hair, it blinded me because he had like really bright orange hair for this comeback. Um, but anyway, um, B-sides. Let's talk B-sides. Top three are Lazy Lovers. Lazy Lovers is a whole bop. Um, I feel like, could that have been title track worthy? Yeah, kind of. But I love love that song so lazy lovers curious and then twinkle twinkle um but like all of the other new collections i'm starting this month definitely happy and excited to um start collecting some of them did i i feel like i didn't say the version names for that so but they weren't like they weren't revolutionary the black one was the black version and the white one was the white version so yeah sorry about that I feel like I hope I don't forget to do that that's gonna be really annoying okay anyway um next comeback this is not a new group um I got WJSN's this is their what is this their eighth mini um neverland so this is version one version two and then version three um so butterfly was their title track um another perfect summer song obviously because it was a summer comeback um but they so last year they leased boogie up um which their um like there with the starship which was sistar's company and sistar was known for summer comebacks or like was supreme when it came to summer comebacks so i feel like wjsn is kind of following in their footsteps but with their sound and their concept um i think i i really like butterfly the only gripe that i have with this era i the okay i'm like my mind is bouncing off the walls um music video was stunning except for the yellow outfits um and they also wore those yellow outfits for um on a music show or two and i just think like with all the other like great elements of great elements and great looks in the music video and in these photo books that they just i don't know i just didn't really like those outfits um but all the members looked really pretty um vocals like I, it this is wjsn they have like good vocalists so i wasn't surprised they didn't disappoint um besides i have my top three as pantomime our garden and then trala um, and I am really hoping we get an OT13 comeback soon. Um, I don't follow a lot of WJSN, um, accounts or update accounts. So if you know about an OT13 comeback, do let me know. Leave it in the comments. Um, I don't know. I just, there's nothing like a, like a full group comeback. So yeah, but definitely enjoyed the butterfly era this next comeback is another new collection 
Um, and it is Stray Kids. This is going to be a little bit difficult to display, so I'm going to have to be creative. Um, okay, Stray Kids, their first full album, um, Go Live. This is the uh, version A, version B. Um, and then this blue one, which I'll kind of show it like this before I put it down, is version C. We're gonna do it like that. And then this one, oh jeez, pardon the whatever that was. I think it was just like dust. Um, this is the limited version. I'm going to put that here. It's not the prettiest, but yeah. Okay. So I very casually watched some of their like um, variety appearances and then you know like those like guide to XYZ group videos on YouTube, watched a couple of those. Um, and I just like, I grew to really like them. And when they released the first teaser video for this, um, I was like, okay, it, this is going to be a banger, um, which um, God's Menu was. Um, there's no denying that. It makes me want to just get in a car and speed down the highway, um, which I, um, or that's in my mind. I wouldn't <laughs> actually do that. Going back to the teaser video, this was the comeback that made me say, you know what, we're gonna collect Stray Kids. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest, was I a huge fan of their of all of their previous releases? No. Um, but I like watching um, like their videos and then like, you know, like just like those fan made guides and then this comeback, all of those elements together just really made me want to start collecting them and supporting them. Um, okay, besides top three, easy. Easy is, it, uh, chef's kiss it like oh i easy is a whole bop so easy airplane and then haven next june comeback we have is wacky mecky this isn't going to fit completely in frame because these albums are huge um so this is their third mini hide and seek this is the hide <laughs> This is the hide version, and this is the seek version. Can you see? No, this is the seek version. Um, I like. I still think Wacky Mecky is slept on. Oopsie was the title track for this comeback, and it's like, it's it's a good song in my opinion. Um, as like. And I'm not surprised because all of Wacky Mikey's title tracks have been really good. Um, I did think the music video was like, it, it was a little disappointing. Like it just, it didn't, it, there was just something about it that was just like, oh, like, okay. I don't, I don't know. Um, I will say I really loved the all like blue outfits that they wore, but I feel like they could have done something a little bit more with the music video. Um, in terms of B-sides, which not only does Wacky Mecky have really good title tracks, they also have really good B-sides, so check Wacky Mecky out. Um, this, I think this, this only had like four songs? Um, so, I have The Paradise, Moya Moya, and then Universe as my top three B-sides. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think it was a solid comeback. Um, I don't like how these albums are way bigger than their previous ones because it just looks awkward on the shelf, but it is what it is. Um, but happy to add these to my Wacky Mecky collection. Next comeback we have 
for June. This is also going to be one where we have to get a little bit creative. Sorry, I don't know if you could hear that, but that was a bird. Anyway, um, we have 17s. This is their seventh mini Hangare. Um, how are we going to display this? Okay, we're just okay. Um, this is the Hana version. This is the dual version. Um, this one right here is set and then this one is net. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, let's talk about this packaging. This packaging is, I would, I was so appalled when I saw the item details. Um, I don't think the DIY thing bothers me. What bothers me is just like the, the, the pouch. And listen, so XOSC, if you, um, their like debut, that pouch is fine because like the sticker, it's easy to peel. Like I could like put it back. This, not so much. And the fact that, you know, you have the screws, um, Sorry, I'm getting really distracted by like the noises of nature. Um, but because of like the screws, like it's, I don't know, the packaging is just, ugh. Um, and on top of it, um, you weren't guaranteed an OT13 photo book, which bothered me because I like, I, I like full group photo books. If um, something SM used to do, um, first thing that comes to mind is Exodus. Each member had their own version and own photo book. That, fine. But when you add like the random on top of it, it's just, it makes me like crazy. Anyway, enough with the packaging. This era overall was so good for Seventeen, I think. Um, I know they did sell a million copies of this album, which is awesome. Um, and I've just, the past couple of days, I've been watching a lot of like Going 17 episodes. Um, and I just, I love them. They're so funny. They're like, I don't know. I just, I love them. Um, left and right is a whole bop. Um, I like how they kind of did a little bit of a switch up. So fear was definitely like on the more moody side but i feel like this is like completely opposite um in terms of b-sides i have my top three as kidult um is it kid adult kidult um together and then i wish um but overall really proud of 17 um Despite the packaging, happy to have this album in my collection. Okay, next comeback is from AB6. And again, I am sorry for the glare, so I'm going to show these two first. This is their second mini, Vivid. This is the V version. That's what it looks like without the window glare. This is the I version. And then this is the D version. I hope you didn't see me because that's tragic. Um, okay, so this comeback overall was bittersweet. Um, I think everybody knows what happened with Young Men. Young Men is no longer in the group anymore because of a um, poor, very poor decision that he made. Um, and I, so I collected AB6 from their debut. And it was, this was very bittersweet for me because I was um, upset about his decision, but I was also upset when um he decided to leave the group like it's i feel like 
in a way he didn't have a choice. Um, but because I've been following them since debut, it just, it's weird seeing them officially as four. I love the answer. It's such a upbeat and fun song and the music video is so like bright and fun. Um, I wish I had better adjectives to describe it, but um, that being said, I am still planning on supporting AB6. I feel like they have so much more to do um, because they just debuted last year. Um, I'm really excited to see what um, OT4 does. Um, talking about B-sides or top three B-sides, um, I have Vivid, I love Vivid, um, Surreal, and then Red Up as my top three. Um, but I definitely, all of all the albums I'm going to talk about, I highly recommend you listen to them if you haven't already, but I especially want um, to emphasize um, supporting AB6, um, not forcing you to, but I just, I think they deserve all the love and support. Okay, we have another new collection, but this is... Um, their first physical release. Um, so I have Woods. This is his first mini equal. So if you don't know who Woods is, it is um, Sung Yoon. He was in X1 and then he is also in um, the name. It's escaping me. So. How I discovered Sung Yoon, or Woods, um, I did not watch um, Produce X, but everybody, like when X1 was still promoting, like everybody was posting about them, and I um, had like seen a couple of videos of him on my For You page, and I think he's really cute. So that's what drew me in initially. Um, and then I was like listening to more of his stuff. So he's released like a couple of digital singles under um, the name Woods before. So that's why I said like this is his first physical release. Um, but I just, I was like, okay, I love his voice. Um, and when the teaser for Love Me Harder, which was the title track for this, was put up. I was like, I knew it was, this was going to be a bop from that 30 seconds. Um, and the music video is like a whole, I like, I love when I can easily follow a storyline and listen, like I know there's, there's a lot of fans that love really, you know, like thorough and thought out storylines that are not necessarily necessarily obvious and like I like I appreciate those too I'm not saying like I don't like them but sometimes it's just it's good to have an easy to follow storyline this mini too is really really good um in terms of b-sides hold on I gotta get my notes here um I have Noid I freaking love Noid um, Waikiki is a whole vibe, um, and then Lift Up. Those are my top three. Um, it is still really bothering me that I don't remember the name of the group that he's in. So excited to see what he comes out with, um, moving forward. I think he's, well, like, I don't, I thought he had said like he was planning on making another comeback this year. Um, really excited to start collecting his albums. I yet again didn't say the versions. I hate this. Okay, so the white one was the Earth version and then the blue one was Cosmic. Um, they did have like 
it was printed on the actual album, but I failed to call that out. Okay, this is the second to last release that I got in June, and it is um, Wasa. I think I just hit the camera. I'm sorry. Um, this is Wasa from Mamamoo, her first mini Maria. Um, so I only have one version. The photo book is random, um, which is a little bit annoying, but I digress. So I'm hoping like one day, um, if I go to, um, one of the, um, K-pop stores in my state that I'll be able to get the second version. And I'm hoping that I could tell by like the color of this. Um, but for now I just have, I think I have version a, I don't know. Um, let's just do, I have this version, but okay. Anyway, um, her debut, solo debut was a whole bop, um, remains a bop to this day. So I knew that like, I wasn't expecting anything less. Um, I will say Maria took a couple of listens. So I first watched the music video when I woke up at 5 a.m. randomly during the week. Um, and I feel like because I had just woken up that I, it just, I wasn't in it a hundred percent. Like I wasn't fully like awake. Um, but after a couple of listens, it did grow on me. The music video is very high budget. We love a high budget music video. Um, in terms of, oh, one thing I did want to say about this photo book version that I have, it has some pictures of, um, the venue that, um, of the LMM music video, which I think is absolutely stunning. Um, I did show one of them before when I was, did like a really quick flip through to show the version that I had, but, um, the photos are absolutely beautiful. Um, when it comes to B-sides, I have my top three as Y, I'm Bad Too, and LMM. Um, overall, I thought this was a good comeback. I, it, yeah, it is comeback, right? Um, yes. Um, I'm really hoping that Wean um, comes out with something soon. Um, I know, well, in terms of like Mama Moo solos this year, we've gotten something from Moonbule, Solar, now Wasa. So I think Huyen's time is coming, hopefully. I really love her voice. Um, but I thought this was a really good release from Wasa. Um, I'm excited to add this to my Mama Moo collection. Okay, the very last June comeback that I purchased is a debut and it is Weekly. So if you don't know who Weekly is, they used to be known as Play M Girls and Play M is A Pink and Victon's um, agency. Is that or is that or company? I, you know what I mean. Um, so I, I don't know if any of you have come across like those um, mashup covers on I think like the One The K channel, but I came across the one that um, some of their members did pre-debut. Um, I, I just, I really thought they had really good voices. And at the time there wasn't really anything, like any like, um, there weren't a lot of videos about them because they hadn't debuted yet. Um, but I thought, well, if they're in the same company as A Pink, then they're sure to be like really good. Um, and I just, I, I love a good girl crush moment. Um, but I like that they didn't go that route, like for debut. Um, like I, I found this overall concept, this overall mini album to be really refreshing. I don't know. That's, I don't know if that's just me, but so their debut song was Tag Me. Um, and I love the, I 
um, I love the chorus. That's like one of my favorite parts. And I think the music video is so, um, I know I've used bright and fun, so I hate to say it again, but like I, that's, that's what it is. Um, we love a good, um, high saturation, um, K-pop music video. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to like seeing how they evolve as a group. Um, in terms of B-sides, I have Hello, Reality, and Universe as my top three. Um, so yeah, definitely excited to um, start collecting weekly and continuing to support them. So those were all the albums that I got in the month of June. Um, I'm probably going to pick up filming another day because it is getting kind of dark outside and I like to use natural lighting for filming. Um, so I will see you guys in the next clip with the albums I got in July. Okay, we're going to get right into the July comeback. So first I have a debut and that is from Red Velvet, Irene and Sylvie. They debuted in a unit, which it's about time. I'm going to display the versions in um, reverse order. So this is the bass note version. Um, this one, I believe, is top note. I wrote it down. Top, yeah top note and then this one is the middle note version and again i am sorry about the glare from the window and this is not centered love it um okay so i thought it was about time sm like started ha uh letting red velvet have solo and unit um comebacks or debuts because they're in their sixth year um and that, so i was pleasantly surprised when they announced this and when they started dropping teasers for this i teaser pictures were absolutely stunning so obviously i love all of the photo books um monster took a handful of listens for me to get into i'm not gonna lie um is it so okay since they promoted um uh, monster was the main title track and they also promoted naughty um I prefer Naughty. I think Naughty is a whole serve. The music video, the choreography to Naughty, it, like, speechless. Um, but, however, I still think, I, I still like Monster. I just prefer Naughty a little bit more. Um, I think they looked stunned. The music video was very high budget, except for the, like, Monster effect that they did on Irene. Um, but I think they looked both Irene and Sylvie look so, 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 so good this entire era. Um, and I'm so glad that we um, we were gifted this mini. Um, in terms of B-sides, like I said, um, or like it should be no surprise that like the number one on my top three is Naughty. Um, then I have Jelly at number two, and then Diamond to round out the top three. Um, but overall, really happy with this debut. That was my notes that I was looking back at. Um, and yeah, excited to add these to the Red Velvet collection. So next up, I have Chunga. This is what she called a maxi single. Um, so the main promotion or the, the main song she promoted with was play. Um, but this photo book and CD includes stay tonight as well. Um, so this is the play side of the photo book. And when you flip it, flip it over, it has stay tonight, which is, um, kind of cool. Um, between the two. So these are two, both were pre-releases off of her upcoming album, which I am so excited for. I just want it to be released already. Um, I prefer play more. I just, I like the overall vibe of it better. I don't know. Um, I thought it's like, it's perfect for the summer. I feel like I've said that before about like it, obviously it's perfect for the summer because it is summer right now. Um, but it just, I don't know. It's just such a, it like makes me want to get up and dance. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I don't know how, else to describe 
the feeling I get when I listen to this song. I just, I, it's really catchy. Um, she looks absolutely stunning in the music video. Um, the photo book, there's a couple of pictures where she's wearing like a green, I think it's green, green and blue tie dye dress. Those look like they are from a like magazine spread. It's, uh, yeah, um, she served. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, again, really excited for her, this is going to be her first full album, um, so I'm hoping that we get it soon, um, but yeah, happy to have this to add to my Chang'e collection. Next we have SF9, this is their 8th mini Glorious. Um, this is the Golden Chaser version, and then this is the Black Chaser. I like how they have the version names on them because it helps me remember. Um, the title track for this comeback was Summer Breeze. Overall, was this my favorite thing that they have put out? No. It wasn't bad. It just, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. Like, it wasn't... It didn't make me feel the way RPM made me feel. RPM was a whole, like, uh, I don't even know how to describe. I just, I loved RPM so much. Um, but yeah, um, regardless, this is still a solid comeback. Um, in terms of the B-sides, my top three, I have All Day, All Night, Into the Night, and then Go High. Um, and I just, like, SF9, I love FF, uh, boo, boo, boo. I love FF, I was gonna say FS9, what am I, like, what am I saying? Um, I love SF9. And I just want, I keep reminding myself to appreciate their full group comebacks because um, Youngbin and Insung are probably going to enlist next year, which makes me sad. Um, a lot of the, like, for the boy groups that I collect, a lot, or uh, not a lot, but like members are starting to enlist. So I'm just trying to appreciate SF9 full comebacks as much as I can because there's going to be a period of time where we won't have that. Um, so yeah, overall, again, solid comeback. The music video um, was pretty good too. Um, but yeah, happy to add these to the SF9 collection. Okay, next up we have... XOSC, this is their first full album, 1 billion views. Um, this is the Ocean View version. Let me hold it up so you can see it without the glare. This is Sehun's version. And then this is the Park View version, which is Chen Yul's. And then the Paradise version, which is the group. And let me hold that up so you can see it without the glare. Okay. Um, I love this album every single song i love like it's it's Baekhyun's delight good in my opinion um one billion views is a whole like vibe i just that's a song that you could just go down the highway with the top down if you have like a convertible or whatever um just living life. I love the moon feature. I wish it was a little bit longer because I love her voice. I mean, actually this song made me get into moon a little bit more. Um, but yeah, if, I don't know if I've said this on my channel, but if I already have, well, I'm going to repeat it. Uh, EXO is like my ultimate favorite boy group and Chanyeol is my ultimate bias. So in ways, am I biased? Yes. Um, but yeah, and like, I don't know if I could say this, like, would it be accurate to say I'm a simp for Chanyeol, even though I don't know, like, are you only a simp for people that you know in real life? I, okay. Anyway, before I get into the, so because I love all the songs on this album, it was very hard for me to pick a top three for B-sides, but before I get into that, I did exclude their solo songs from like my B-side ranking. Um, 
on me snatched me i love on me it makes me want to like just like throw it back <laughs> um yeah yeah i don't i don't know what else to say um if you haven't watched the music video for that i definitely recommend that you do um and then nothing it's it's channel i i love his voice it doesn't like it's 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 not like he can't like pop off to, you know like riffs like Baekhyun, Chen, and Kyungsoo can but it's just like something about it is just like I, I just I think it's so good this is the simp in me jumping out <laughs> um okay so and then overall comeback like I liked the concept was very interesting it was kind of like techie futuristic I guess you could say I don't know like quirky retro those are the adjectives that come to mind um okay moving into the b-side ranking because i feel like i'm starting to just like rant too much um my top three i have say it uh then rodeo station and then fly away um but if you haven't listened to this album i definitely recommend you do um and yeah i am happy to add this to the xosc collection and um, Channel is another one that's probably going to enlist next year, which makes me really sad. Um, I like, he he's gonna come back, but I don't know, it just makes me sad. So I'm kind of curious to see if like he puts out a solo before then or if SC comes back before he enlists, but yeah. Next we have um g friend this is their ninth mini and this is going to be a challenge to display because these are like huge boxes um okay we're gonna do this and then we're going to does this work that's as good as it's gonna get okay so well here let me just move this is like what like the front part of it is for that version okay so ninth mini song of the sirens this green version is the broken room version this is the tilted version and then this one is the apple version um i was very surprised when i saw the music video for this and listened to apple for the first time apple is the title track of this comeback um because it's so like I, when I think G friend title tracks, I think of like anime intros and outros. I don't know, that's just, that's just me. Um, and I feel like it was Fever season where they kind of drifted away from that title track wise because all of their B-sides still have that sound, um, in, at least in my opinion they do. Um, but Apple was like so... I don't know if anybody remembers Girls' Day something. Um, if you don't, you should. <laughs> uh, like that's like an iconic like K-pop song. Um, but this like reminded me of that. Like the white, it, it was the white outfits. I feel like. Um, but I think everybody looked absolutely stunning in the music video. Of all the photo books, I love this one. This has the, um, like where they're in like the really pretty gowns. Um, so yeah, going into B-sides, my top three, I have creme brulee, which I'm really hungry and now that sounds really good. Um, I have the storm and then tarot cards as my top three. Um, I hope or eh, yeah i hope they kind of start to incorporate a switch up in their sound in their b-sides um yeah i don't know but overall um glad to have these in the collection packaging on the other hand is oof, like um, I added washi tape to these before I was filming because if I didn't, like, it would just, like, stick out and, um, that wasn't a cute look in my opinion. Um, but yeah, again, glad to add these to the collection. Next, we have Unji. This is her fourth solo mini simple. 
let me get this more into frame um or more centered i meant um if you don't know who Angie is she is um from a pink she is i think she's one of if not their main vocal um and she has a fantastic voice and i have to be in a specific mood to listen to her music because it's just it's very um calming and it puts your mind or at least it puts my mind at ease i don't know um it's good to listen to like when you're trying to like concentrate on something um or that, that that's what i found for me um but okay the title track i think for this comeback was away and i thought it was really pretty i thought the music video was pr really pretty um the photo book too she looks absolutely stunning which i mean she is stunning so should we be surprised no um and going back to the title track it's just it's a song where like going back to prime summer day like as if i were still um a student and not working just having a break from school this album or specifically the title track would just be like the perfect song for a day with perfect weather where you're just by yourself and just having a day to yourself to just relax um yeah that's how that would be on my playlist of songs for that kind of day um but yeah again um Unji is a really good soloist probably like one of the best in the industry right now um but I am happy to add this to my Unji and my A Pink collection okay next this is a big one um I'm not sure if it's going to fit into the frame it probably won't um and it's a big album and it's also a big comeback um and i'm talking about blackpink how you like that so yes this was released in june however the physical was not released until july which i remember when they first released this i'm like is this gonna have a physical i kind of think it should i don't know and then boom they're like oh by the way yeah there's gonna be a physical version of this but we're just releasing it later I don't know why YG, I don't know why YG feels the need to do that, but it's fine. We have the physical version. Um, and while I'm talking about just like the, the physical album, this photo book is probably their best between like their, what, their two, so between Square Up and Kill This Love, this one's the best and it's for a single. So I am really hoping the the album i think that's its official name has four versions and there better be different photo books in those four versions i'm just saying um and i hope it's like as high quality um as this was but anyway okay that's enough of the photo book um this was like this was iconic um how you like that i it it's one of those songs where when you first listen to it, you're like, oh, like, it's okay. But then you keep on listening to it. And the more you listen to it, the more you like it. And the more you're like, you know what, this is catchy as hell. Um, which this is. And the music video, we love high budget music videos here on this channel. And I'm sure a lot of other people like high budget music videos. Um, I mean, it's Blackpink. I like, you shouldn't expect anything less. Um, there were looks on looks on looks. I remember when the teasers first dropped, like Twitter exploded. Um, like, yeah, this 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 was a moment. Um, and I am really, really excited for their first full album, which it's sad to think they debuted in 2016 and they are just now having their first full album. Like, but that's it's 2020 so that's four years and i'm comparing it to twice twice debuted in 2015 twice to Graham was released in 2017 so that was two years i mean blackpink just doesn't like they don't come back as they, they, this is everybody knows this um i feel like yg artists in general don't come back as frequently as others do 
I don't know, especially Blackpink. Like, they, they, they are so popular. They, like, deserve multiple comebacks. I don't know. Anyway, overall, this was a moment. This was an era. I am so excited for the album. Like, think how freaking iconic you have to be to title your first album The Album because The Album from The Blackpink. Um, is that? I hope you guys don't hear that, but if you do, I'm sorry. Okay, um, yes, excited to add this to my Blackpink collection. Okay, so this next comeback is a collection starter. Um, and as I was prepping for this video, I started to think, like, I don't know my collection plans for them, but okay. Uh, let me just show this before I get into that. So I picked up April's Hello Summer. This is what they call their first special summer single. Um, but if we're taking into account all of their other Korean releases, this is technically their fourth single, if my research is correct. Um, so the title track, Now or Never, came on one of the like um, Apple Music K-pop playlists I was listening to. Um, and I thought it was really good. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is really like um, a really cute bop. Um, so, and I had heard of April like very briefly, like I saw like stuff about them on the timeline, but I just never really got into them. And I, I was pretty much sleeping on them and I'm glad that I stopped doing that because I, like they have good vocalists um their past couple of releases have been really good we love we love a summer concept like nobody does summer concepts like girl groups um that's that's just my opinion um in turn so i'm still learning about the group i'm still learning everybody's name so i'm not gonna hit sit here and pretend to be like oh yeah i know everybody because i don't um and in terms of collection plans, I, um, I mean, I did already go up and like pick up some of their um, older releases. I think what I'm concerned about is photo cards because they are pretty hard to collect. Um, I don't know. We're like we're just gonna go with the flow. I fell in love with Now or Never and was honestly like, disappointed that I've been sleeping on them for this long so I'm really excited to start collecting their albums um and start to um support them by doing so um but yeah okay so the last July comeback I have is from 80s this is their fifth mini um zero fever part one so this is um again like all these slipcover albums are going to have the glare of my window so i apologize um this one is the thanks version the green and yellow then we go to the inception version um and then oh i love the gr wow i'm just I'm just realizing that these all like go into like a gradient of each other. <sighs> I great, good job, Bridget. Um, and then this is the diary version. Um, so they, um, I think they let the fans choose between the title track this time. Um, and I'm gonna there's like a smudge that's really bothering me. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I prefer thanks over inception inception is still good the music video the group dance scene reminds me of cix's numb um because it's in like it's a similar looking classroom like, that's what my mind first went to when i watched it so yeah i overall well this was a solid comeback i think because the title was inception like it didn't like hit me as like hard as I wanted it to like it didn't like um leave that much of an impact on me um in terms of 
B-sides, I have my top three as thanks, which I mean, I said that was my preferred title track option of the two. So are we surprised? No. Um, then Fever and then One Day at a Time as my top three. Um, but yeah, this is overall a solid release. Um, and I am excited to add these to the 80s collection. Okay, so this is going to be the very last half, or not half, but part of this video where I'm going to be showing you the albums that I got in August. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it because this video is already, um, pretty long. So the first august comeback i have is from daniel or kang daniel um his this is his second mini magenta so this is the a version and this is the b version however um i wish i had known this before i got them because they're pretty much the same photo book the only slight differences is wherever there's like little like designs over the photos this one it's the pinkier shade of magenta and then in this photo book it's the more purple shade of magenta that's literally the only difference and i'm kind of annoyed because in cyan which was his release before this um there were two different photo books but in terms of this release in general um, the title track for this is Who You Are, and I would say that the pre-chorus is probably my favorite part of the song. Um, it's not a bad song, it's not like a song that blew me away, it's good. Um, the, the music video is okay as well. Um, and I will say this has really, like, um, I really like all of these b-sides. Um, Adulthood is probably my favorite song of his that he's put out so far. I feel like he has yet to top that for me. Um, and then in terms of B-side ranking, it was hard because I do pretty much like all the B-sides on this mini. But my top three, I have Movie, Runaway, and then Waves. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a solid comeback. A little disappointed about the photo books i'll figure that out on my own time um whether I'm, I'm gonna keep one or keep both but yeah glad to add this to my collection next comeback we have is from idol let me see okay that's as good as, good as it's gonna get in terms of being in frame so this is their first physical single they released singles in the past um, and when I was looking, like, before doing this, just to double check, like, which single this was, or number single, it said it was their first, so we're gonna go with it. Um, so this is Dum Dee Dum Dee. This is the day version, and this is the night version. Um, when I first heard this song, I was not, ex it, I was surprised it was their song at first, because I just wasn't expecting it to sound that way. Um... But that wasn't like a, like a, ugh, kind of surprise. It was like, oh, okay, like a, a ple pleasantly surprised. Um, the, there are some parts of the song, and this is not me being shady. There's some parts that reminds me of a song from a Disney Channel movie. And I don't know what it is, but it just, it, the tune especially in the chorus reminds me of something the the first half of the chorus um other than that we love i feel like i've said this before but we love like girl group summer comebacks girl groups keep us fed during the summer um with like pure like summer vibe um concept comebacks which is what this was did have like the little like west like little like you know out west feel to it um not like another comeback that i'm going to talk about later in the video um but it had just like hints of that um also i'm the trend which they released prior to this is on the physical um but i don't 
because they're they were set released separately i don't like in this is a single album so i can't really rank it i the trend is all right um overall i thought this was a, another solid era from idol um packaging i'm very scared to keep on opening this because the like this part is sticky which is good but i don't know it's still a pouch um so yeah but other than that happy to add this to the idol collection so next up is a collection starter um because it is a debut and probably one of the most anticipated debuts that might have just given it away um but i have treasures first or their debut single album um the first step chapter one this is the white version this is the black version nothing revolutionary in terms of version names um so if i haven't said this on my channel i'm announcing it now if i have said it then you're going to hear it again uh 2020 is the year that i am stopping like after 2020 i am not collecting any more rookies um i like as more and more groups debut they just keep getting younger and yeah i already co collect so many groups i just i thought 2020 was a good like yep like that's it no more rookies from here on out um so i'm very very glad that treasure debuted this year because if they had debuted next year it would have i probably would have broken the rule for them only for like they would have been my only exception how that had they not debuted this year um but they did um which i did not watch mix nine or um the treasure reality show uh, i forget what it was the um competition show i did not watch those however um i have like heard about them on twitter and like they like a lot of these members have been through a lot in terms of like when are they going to debut or are they even going to debut um so i am so happy that <laughs> excuse me um they have finally debuted and i how many times did i say debut in the past 25 seconds um i love boy i think a lot of people have been saying oh like this isn't like the yg sound also the sun is like peeking through the windows so that's why you'll see the outline of the blinds anyway a lot of people said like oh like this isn't like the traditional yg sound although like towards the end like the like the chanting is that's a yg signature kind of um but i I don't know what else to say except I really love this song. The vocals, the raps, the music video budget. Eh, speechless. Like, this is really good. Um, and I am probably only going to, I might collect only one other boy group rookie for this year. But so far, they have impressed me the most. Um, and I know they're going to be re releasing... Um, in the same format as big bang did made um which is exciting so like um two songs every month i think um but yeah don't want to ramble on for too long oh before i wrap up come to me was the other song on this single album i prefer the verses more than the chorus especially the part of the chorus where it's just the instrumental but it is still um a solid song so yeah um but yeah excited to start collecting treasure okay so the next comeback is kind of a debut it's a solo debut um this is han sung sung woo if I could talk. Um, if you don't know who Sungwoo is, he is in Victon and he was also in X1. Um, so this is his first mini as a soloist. Uh, this is the Han version. This is the Sung version. Uh, let me get the third one. Um, I'm going to hold this up and just like show it like this. Um, but this is the Wu version. So there's three in total. And I'm just gonna put that there because I don't know, actually, we're just gonna put this here because I don't know, like, 
like what else to do with it with how the zoom is set but okay so this is i was surprised when they announced this but then afterwards i'm like oh well it makes sense because he was an x1 um and i feel like especially this year with everything that happened everybody that was in x1 either debuted in their respective groups or units or went like just put out solo releases so once i that came to my mind I'm like oh, okay like this does make sense um i was really surprised at how much i liked pretty much all of these b-sides um i think somu is one of the main vocalists in victim i i say i question that because i don't like i want to say that's one of his like, that's his official position i could be very wrong but and if i am please do not come for me um but anyway okay title track for this was sacrifice which it's good um i feel like i like some of the b-sides a little bit more um but yeah overall i thought it was really good um i'm really surprised that we got three versions of three versions and that they're three different photo books because usually especially for so for continuous victims continuous they had three versions but it was the same exact photo book which i it's kind of annoying but it's whatever um so i'm very glad that this is three versions three different photo books um in terms of top three b-sides again um, I mentioned like I was surprised that I liked these b-sides so much so it's kind of hard to rank them but I have my top three as Fever, um, Reply, and then Child. So yes. Happy to add this to the Victim collection. Okay, so the next comeback is a collection starter. I'm trying to formulate very qu quickly how I'm going to display all of these. Um, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. So I have started. I have decided to start collecting Dreamcatcher. This is their fifth mini um, dystopia. Lose myself. So they had two limited versions, which. These two are the limited. This is um, version D, and then this is version S. And then I also got the two regular versions. So um, this one is H, and then this one is E. I'm not sure, I'll just move them up like that. And I love how they look in like the light, how they're like really like reflective um okay so i wanted to collect dreamcatcher because their music gives me something that i didn't know i needed so if you don't know who dreamcatcher or if you know who dreamcatcher is you know that they don't really have like the bubblegum k-pop sound especially for their title tracks they're more like um punk rock if like yeah yeah that's how i would describe it so i just like i love their music and i their b-sides too aren't like yes m pretty much all of their title tracks have like that punk rock like headbanger kind of instrumental um but they have really good b-sides and i liked the b-sides for this mini too i mean two of them were more um actually no that's a lie one of them was a straight up ballad and then the other two were kind of like mixtures so ignore that um i was nervous to commit to com collecting them because a lot of their albums are out of print i'm probably just going to end up buying those second hand which is fine um but yeah, I'm really excited to start collecting their stuff. I think everybody looked absolutely stunning in the music video, stunning in the photo books. Um, there's, I forget, like the one concept where they're outside and like they have, like it's very 
spring summery like they have like um the like sundresses on like it that's my favorite i think concept of this era in terms of like photo book wise and stuff um but yeah talking about b-sides uh there were only three other songs so my ranking of those is can't get you out of my mind which reminds me of like a late an early 2010 song i can't tell you what it is exactly but it just reminds me of something but i love it um so can't get you out of my mind dear and then break the wall i so when i was thinking about this i was like well I feel like Dear and Break the Wall are on the same level. So Dear is the ballad and then Break the Wall is more of like the slow rock, I guess you could say. I'm not a music expert, guys. So like, uh, I'm not pretending to be. Um, but yeah, so those are my top three B-sides. Very excited to start collecting Dreamcatcher despite it's, it's going to be a process getting all of their older releases, but nonetheless very excited to start supporting um them as artists so the last august comeback i have is from itsy not shy not me itsy is this gonna work no i have to put them on top of one another okay so this is the a version the b version and then this one is version C. So this is their third mini Not Shy, um, which, sorry, I just like hit my knees. Um, not Shy, Not Me, Itsy is iconic. Like uh, everybody know, like when you hear that, like, you know, yes, like they say their name in the line, but that's just like a pretty iconic line. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Overall, I thought this mini had some of Itzy's best B-sides that they've released. Granted, they just debuted in 2019 and the It's Icy had what? Like two genuine B-sides and then the rest were remixes. And then um, It's Me had like a couple good B-sides, but overall like that, it, it, it was okay. Like it didn't blow me away. I really liked a lot of the b-sides on this um title track not shy a whole bop um music video we love a like wild west concept um styling wise there were some like there's select outfits that i like from select members um so style stylistically like in terms of like the concept of like the photo books not one of my favorites i think yuna looks really good i think cherry this cherry just snatched everybody i think this era um but overall really liked, really liked the music video um besides um okay so i have my top three as don't give a what surf and then louder um but yeah i am really excited to see what more itsy gives us um and yeah excited to add these to my itsy collection all right so we have made it to the end thank you guys so much for watching this video it's like I said in the beginning, it's been a hot minute since I posted. I'm really excited to get back into this. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.